Welcome to another smash of the day. This week I've got Jack, coach of the Cunning Stunts, and Sean, coach of the Chaos Dwarf team. Um, Gods, 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 that's Gods. the one, yeah. Sorry, you're going to have to put up with me coughing and spluttering my way through this because I'm still fighting a cold. But uh, we're going to do a kind of uh, pre playoff special. We're still going to go through matches, but we're going to focus a bit more on teams and fixtures and table positions. But before we do that, let's take a look at this week's results from Division 1. So, this is nice. This You can kick us off then, Sean. Take us through this game. Um, it was a very close game. I think a draw would have been fair. The only reason it was a win for me was uh, the Minotaur dodging, picking up and scoring with no re-rolls. Wow. That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> How was your overall dodging game here? Eighty uh, percent. Um, you made eight dodges. Was that mostly with hobgoblins? Mostly, yeah. Yeah, uh, but one of them was a minotaur. <laughs> I, I bet Tom was happy about that. Um, all right, well, two one. You went a bit quiet. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I would have been quite annoyed. That's not. That's a nice three points for you. To be fair, three points that you needed yep. as well. Um, yeah. Vermin Avengers three, Mordor's rejects one. Uh, this was. A pretty dominant showing from the uh, from the Avengers. Look at that though: twenty armor breaks versus five. That's yeah, Steven in the, a nutshell, right? It looks, yeah, looks like the Mordor rejects did quite a bit of damage, but the Skaven had enough players to weather it. Yeah, that's pretty much always the story yeah. with these Skaven, isn't it? Um, yeah. um, what I wonder what happened to that Chaos Warrior that got the level up? Was is he an MNG? Probably. Uh, let's take a look at Family Adams 1, Brexiting Spines 1. Now, this is uh, a bit of a surprising result. I think we expected the Spines to take this, didn't we? Yeah. Um, oh, they had a lot of good luck on their wild animal rolls. That's quite nice for them. Succeeded a lot of GFIs. What went wrong for the Spines? That's the question. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I missed this game. Mm, yeah. Well, what went right for Family Adams? Got all a this case back. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Well, what can you say? Fair play to Family Adams because that's a yeah. huge result for oh. them. Well, it looks like the spines ragged them around a bit. Look, because they got quite a bit of SPP. Yeah. Well, well done. Good job. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. Frenzy Speedo Explosion One, Jurassic Junglers Two. Uh, from what I've been told, this was one of those games where it could have easily been four-one. Yeah. Yeah, and look at those rolls for the Frenzied Speedo Explosion. 53% on dodge, 76% on injury. He failed one of his passes. He failed to pick up the ball four times. Yeah, that's grim. <laughs> he failed all of his casualty rolls. Oh, my God. Wild Animal, 50%. As many Sometimes fails as successes. Games. Yeah. Well, there you go. People say Norse are unbreakable, but when that happens, they're not. <laughs> No sort of break will until then not. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, they, he didn't get, he didn't inflict any deaths. That's something, I guess. Yeah. But twenty-five armor breaks to five. That's just an absolute bum slap. His runner leveled up though. That's quite nice for him. All right. Well, we have kind of glossed over that, but that's because we wanted to get yeah. to the important thing now, which is the teams. So let's take a look at these lizard men. Two thousand one hundred and eighty team value. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, there's there's a lot to say here. Um, I think the the main thing to point out is that he could have another Saurus with God after his next game, quite easily, because that's on 14 yeah. SPP. He's going to be wanting that. Um, 
he now has a level six skink with leap, sprint, sure feet, sidestep, and an agility up. Yeah, you, oh. you can't stop that thing from just going wherever it wants. Pretty much, yeah. Maybe a bit of tentacles, but not that much as tentacles. Yeah, he's got a lot of maneuverability. Four of his skinks now have the sidestep, which makes him very difficult to deal with. But I think the only thing that he's missing here is that none of his skinks have rolled a double and got block. So they yeah. are susceptible to both yeah. downs. Yeah. I mean, if you, were, if you were to come up against this team, right, with a guy that doesn't have block, and you hit that skink and got a both down, you'd take it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Even if it yeah. meant ending your turn. But to... it's if you can get to the skinks, he's got all the <laughs> that wall of block on the Saurus. Yeah. Obviously, he rolled that block on the Croxigor to start it off on its journey. And yeah, <laughs> are you going to get through to a skink? He's not going to give you a free hit on one. Yeah, that's true. But there's a lot of teams that could potentially. <laughs> Manage that. Uh, vampires, obviously. The obvious one is oh, Wood Elves. Yeah. They could all get into that cage, yeah. Um, yeah. Be interesting to see if he tries to hand off to the to his Fodar there. Uh, get him a level up so that he's got six leveled up skinks. That'd be nice. Every single one will have a level up then. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to play uh, this team. Uh, that team value, what's the point? Uh, uh, who cares about an extra 20k team value when you're already at that? Exactly. Yeah, this will be very... Uh, yeah, I feel sorry for anyone who has to play against this. Um, and we're going to see what that is in a sec. Uh, Brexiting Spines, 1,820. These guys have got a lot of stat downs. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter that your Beastman with Claws got an Agi down, but that movement down might make him suffer a bit. And he's got yeah. a fresh Chaos Warrior there as well. So he's, he's not had a, a great season, has he, compared to what he could have achieved. Yeah. And this is my opponent next week. All oh, right. Well, this is probably the time to play him. He's only got 11 men in his squad. He can't really afford... I mean, he could sink yeah. 60k into another Beastman, but I don't think he will. It's just whether I can hold up to the claw. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, got more claw than any other team in yeah. the yeah, you're gonna have to deal with these tin openers. I mean that um Mighty Blow Claw Beastman, you wanna be just getting him down and fouling him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh I mean it's still a formidable side. But not unbeatable. As soon as he starts losing yeah. numbers and getting outnumbered, then he'll be in trouble. Yes. Let's Got take block on the monitor as well since last game. Oh, is that uh is that a recent oh yeah, so it is, yeah. So he rolled a double, that's nice for him. So Claw yeah. Block, Minotaur, that's huge. Yeah. Claw Mighty Blow. Yep. Yeah, that's his Blitzer right there. Um, let's take a look at the other Chaos team. A few hundred less TV. Yep. Well, he's got his um, Claw on his, on his new Minotaur, and he's given extra arms to his Chaos Warrior that already has four Agi, which... Yeah, it's a bit of a weird choice, but I suppose it does mean that he can pick up and catch the ball in a tackle zone. Yeah, it gives him some options. Yeah, um, strength four with block. It can be challenging to get the ball out unless you've built a load of guys with wrestle and uh, strip ball. Yeah, yeah, he's got. He's at that point now, that tipping point where. He could. I mean, is this his third season? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's, that's a shame because he's at that tipping point where chaos is starting to get good. Gets claw on a couple of guys. Things can start going poorly for his opponents. He is also going to go into his next game with just 11 players. He could afford an extra beastman, though. Yes. But he's going to be down a chaos warrior, which is bad for him. Um, but if he can survive and get into the playoffs, he'll probably do all right, I think. Huge fan of sneaky get dirty player. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're so lucky when you can get that as well. Sneaky get dirty player. Because, it, well, he will have ro yeah. rolled a double, right? Yeah. yeah. That's going to yeah. be a pain in the arse to deal with. Um, let's take a look at the gorgeous gits. Fresh from their loss. All I did to them, though, was <clears throat> that missed next game on a yeah. unleveled lineman. So he's still got 12 players. So this team's kind of suffering from the fact that he felt obliged to take 
to utilize so many doubles, I think. Um, yeah. At this point, well, that black orc... At this point, it's starting to get a bit better. Yeah, uh, I guess. Because but... he's now got mighty blow on some of them. It's just, it's taken a long slog to get to yeah. that I mean, third level of chucking mighty blow on them. His number five, Kenny, I would rather... I, if I was him, I would have rather had that with block yeah. mighty blow at this point than blodge. Yeah. Because no one's... People just aren't going to fight your black orcs anyway, so that dodge just isn't yeah. really getting you anywhere. Um, yeah, I, yeah. If I anything, I'd have taken that. sidestep, really, I guess. Even that doesn't seem that yeah. useful. Um, it's nice that he's got a... His, his uh, blitzer with an agi up has got a movement up as well, though, because that means he can basically break out of his own cage and make a run for the touchline if he gets desperate. Yeah. So that's quite cool to have, isn't it? Um, the, the dodge was making bigger difference on the blitzers than it was with the black orcs. So oh yeah, absolutely, it, definitely. It, it made it a little more annoying when I tried to get them down, but it was never that much of a problem because most of the time I was just pushing those black orcs out of the way to make an opening. Yeah, could do with a bit more guard. I think that's what he's missing. That's what most orcs have by this point. Yes. And his, oh, he no longer has his uh, amazing goblin that had all his levels up. Oh yeah, that um, got eaten by the troll, I think. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Didn't he know. no longer has the troll either. <laughs> the troll got a strength down, I think it was, so he had to be fired. To be honest with after. you, that's probably for the best at this point because his bloat was getting a bit ridiculous, and you don't need a goblin that's worth most of your team value. Yeah. So I think this is probably better for him. He can, he can sort of afford to have four rerolls without it bloating him. Don't know if you agree with that or not, but that's what I think. Yeah, that goblin I don't think was giving enough value for what he was costing. Yeah. Um, anyway, there's no reason why this team can't go all the way. Pretty decent. Just needs yeah. to get a bit more, uh, a bit more guard. I think. Let's take a look at uh, Vermin Avengers. Fresh from their 3-1 win, they've got two MNGs on Chaff Linemen. Um, yeah, so he is going to be a bit shorter Linemen. Yeah. But he can afford to buy more if he wants to. Oh, that AV down on his gut run is a bit bit nasty, isn't it? Basically a yeah. fast halfling at this point. But uh, that that's the gutter runner that uh, in his last game leveled up and gained sure feet, so that creates his second reliable one turner yeah yeah again we say this every week there's no reason why he should be losing any games but actually he's I mean he's uh, he's depleted now isn't he he's got 150k though so he can afford some more linemen yeah um, but yeah if he doesn't do that he'll be going into his next game with what 12 players 11 isn't it uh, yeah it's 11 yeah, yeah 11, 11 players. players so it, you would... know be bumping this up to 50 man roster you should only be having to put them gutter runners on the pitch when you need, need yeah to use them. yeah i agree yeah. i agree with that uh but I, and i imagine he probably will uh yeah. he didn't seem to have a problem with having 15 players earlier on in the season yeah no. I think the, yeah the only gutter runner <clears throat> you'd put on for when you're in defense would be the that horns leap strip ball one <laughs> horrifying <laughs> and the uh, one that only has block and dodge oh my god yeah that is ridiculous yeah I, I mean there's no reason why these guys can't go all the way again perfectly serviceable yeah. team um, let's take a look at Family Adams they've struggled on through but they've done alright this season and they're now looking quite nasty um, he's got a mummy that has a Niggle, I think it's time to get rid of yeah. that and replace it. He's got 150k yeah. in the bank. Uh, yes, yeah, certainly. He's got yeah, the he's quite... got the guard stand firm break tackle mummy, so that mummy can go and stand pretty much wherever it wants, yes. provide provide the service yeah. of an assist, and people can't get it out of the way. So that's that is what I would consider a completed mummy at that point. Anything else is yes. a bonus on top of that. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. He's got his Agi 4 sure hand score, so no problem picking up and passing. I guess the, the only thing really that he's that he could probably do with is uh, maybe a bit more tackle. Yeah, um, and I guess stuff like uh, your wrestle or your strip ball to try and get to a, ball, a, a blodge ball yeah. carrier. 
that's true to be fair he could do with because he's got his ball carrier goal the rest of these need to get built into reliable blitzers yeah. don't they really now um, nice that he got he's got his uh, dirty player if he can roll a double on that zombie and get him sneaky gate he's laughing and I reckon if he rolls a double on any of these other zombies he needs to give him tackle really so they just stand in front of people cause problems or possibly guard yeah yeah uh, yeah, is everyone happy with that assessment? I'm very happy with that assessment. <laughs> yeah, that sounds all right. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the Norse. Fresh from their battering, but they are looking uh, all um, right. Yeah, they've got one Adji down that they've had forever that's not really bothering them because it's alignment. And then that one miss next game. He's got a oh he got he rolled a movement up on his runner. That's that's a pretty big deal actually. Movement eight. That's quite significantly higher than the average. Yeah. What has he lost a few or something? Because he's got three level ones there, and I seem to recall him being quite developed. He might have done. I've, mm. I've not seen what's happened to it, but still looking in a good place. You jug juggernaut guard on your yeti blocks yep. on the elves. He's got he's got an Agi four sure hands. Um, if he rolls yeah. a double on that, I'd give him pass at that point, and you've basically got a quarterback, or possibly yeah. accurate. He's got plenty of guard as well. I mean, if yeah. if his if his armor seven can hold up, there's no reason again why this team can't do very well this this playoff. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's still looking good. Yeah, let's have a look at our last team, guards, guards. 1,270 oh, team value, Sean. What's going on here? <laughs> um, <laughs> players keep dying or getting sacked. We've got a lot of number twos in here. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to be missing your uh, your one of your blockers next game. Yes, and my uh, dirty player got killed. You've So that's what that empty space is. Oh, that sucks. You've still got both your ball centaurs, though. That's the main thing. Yeah, but one of them's a brand new one that the game just played was the first. Uh, oh no, that that was just bought after the last game. Do you think you'll be yeah. keeping these guys into next season? No, I I, I took the uh, Chaos Dwarfs because I was tired of uh, linemen getting killed constantly with armor seven <laughs> uh, elves. <laughs> and, uh, I've had my two seasons of Bash. I want to go back to Elves. Yeah, you want to play with actual <laughs> skill. Respect. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's let's take a look at uh, the league table, I think, would be the next thing to do. Yes. So here we have Division 1. Uh, Jungler's running away with it. Six yep. wins. Six whole wins. Uh, yeah. So they're absolutely first place, no doubt about it. Uh, it's worth noting that there is only one game left. Um, yes. So, everyone can still make the playoffs because yep. sixth place makes it in this division. Absolutely. So yeah, that's worth noting. Top six will go through to the playoffs. Only two teams in this division will not make it in, uh, and it is absolutely one hundred percent still wide open. Uh, yep. It's highly unlikely that the Norse and the Skaven won't make it. Uh, no. Certainly, the Norse. They'll almost certainly be getting in. Uh, the only way that they would not. No, because they'd have to finish behind Mordor's rejects, and the highest they can hit is seven points. And well, Brexton Spines can. Yeah. Hit who? So the nine. question is, who have Brexton Spines and Family Adams got? Let's have a quick look at the um, schedule. Spines have me, and yep. Family Adams have the Vermin Venga Vengas. Okay, so you and the Spines would have to win. Yeah. By a significant margin. Um. To knock them out, yeah. yeah and well. we're playing each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, no, you... Yeah, no. Yeah, I think this uh, is yeah. probably a foregone conclusion. Now. Yeah, so so the Norse are through. So it's basically it's between these guys, really. And it is a seeded playoff, so the higher you come, the uh, easier your opponent will be in the first round. Um, yeah, not really much... To be honest with you, it's not a particularly nuanced set up here, is it? <laughs> Everyone can still it's make about, it. Basically, yeah. win your game, you'll probably get through, unless your Mordor's rejects. Yeah, rejects have to win, and then it's still, if all the results go the right way, but most of them uh, win. So, right. 
yeah. for me. Well, actually, a draw the fact is that you're enough. the fact that the that's, uh, sixth and seventh playing against one another means that yeah, he would have to. If sixth and seventh draw, and no, Fritz win, uh, no, it's fifth yeah. and seventh. No, the, right. even even that scenario won't work, oh, yeah. though, Jack, because he's got a, team, a touchdown. So he'd have to win by about seven touchdowns to even stand a chance. Uh, so he's pretty. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be hard for him. Um, now, if I if I lose to the Brexington Spines, <clears throat> then he can finish ahead of me. Yes, that's true. Yeah, but but even but were, yeah, right. that's true actually because you've got minus six touchdown difference. Because I've got minus six, so I'd be up to at least minus seven. He'd be at, at least minus six if it was one nil, one score wins. Go ahead of me, and then he would just have to rely on uh, Family Adams losing to the Skaven, mm. and then then he would jump ahead of me and Family Adams. Yep, spot on. So. So yeah, if he wins, he just needs one result to go the right way, and he's into the playoffs. Well, and doable. Yeah, doable. But he's got to beat the junglers. <laughs> yeah, which is, let's be honest, is not going to happen. <laughs> It'd be a miracle. Um, speaking of which, let's take a look at uh, our matches this week. So, uh, Brexit in spines, guards, guards. Sean, feeling confident? Um, I think a draw is doable, and that's all I need to. Uh, get into the playoffs. Yeah, and to be fair, if you do do that, you could have at least a couple of weeks of playing against hypothetically easy teams. Yeah. Uh, to sort of build your roster back up a bit. Although, with the amount of deaths I've had, I think Graham's Orcs have about the same amount of development I do. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Um, so, uh, what are your predictions? Either I'm going to you... go well, 1 1 in my game. Yeah, I think the spines. I think the spines are going to take it. <laughs> I, think that, that, I think they've got too many can openers for you. To be honest with you, sorry, Sean, but I'm going to have to go yeah, with the spines. <laughs> um, Mordor's rejects versus the Jurassic Junglers. Do we need to discuss uh, this one? I mean, we all like them. Okay. the junglers. <laughs> yeah, I think the junglers are going to take it. <laughs> you, I'm assuming you're on board with that, Jack. Oh yeah, I don't want it to be, but that that has to be it. Yeah. Uh, gorgeous I'd like friend. to see Fritz win. Even oh, I'd love to, oh, I'd yeah, love to well, see yeah, Fritz win. Everybody loves a good underdog story, for sure. I'd love to see him get through to the playoffs. I just don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, gorgeous gets frenzied speedo explosion. This one's a bit more difficult to call. Um, yeah. So, what? let's have a look. We've got 1,800. So, the Norse are going to get uh, 200 in inducements. So, that's, that's a bribe and a... Or you know, it's yeah. a wizard and a babe or something. It's not insignificant, um, and they've they've kind Maybe of a mercenary. yeah, yeah. They've got they've all got block. They, so they could hypothetically outbash the gist. Like, <laughs> yeah, get them it, down. It, yeah. It's all going to depend on the dice because both sides just have block across the board, mm. which does play into the orc's favour slightly with the better armor. Yeah, yeah. That oh, this is a hard one to call. Um, yeah. I think I'm that the, the yeah, I mean, I think the numerical advantage that they have is going to come into their favor. Favor, if the gorgeous gates can contain them and knock them down and remove them and get a numerical advantage themselves, yeah. they could win. But I just think that Dave's experienced and he's good at positioning, and yeah, I can see him taking it. So I'm going to go Norse as well. I think I'm going to go gorgeous gates two one. Fair enough. Uh, and last up, we've got Vermin Avengers and Family Adams. Uh, I mean, again, every week it's like yeah. the Avengers should not lose this at all. Um, they've got so let's see, Undead a 1500, Skaven a 1770. So, so not that much. Though, no, isn't it? And, but the thing is, the Undead have got more players than them and yeah. less team value than them. If the Skaven decides to get themselves a couple of extra linemen to bump it up, that puts us into yeah. Master Chef territory. Yeah, I I think if if the Avengers up their roster, that they're going to take it. But otherwise, I think it's going to be to Family Adams. So you're going to have to pick one. That no, I'm I'm putting a. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be the first time to put a clause in. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to up I'm their gonna, numbers. Uh, I'm going to say well, one one draw. So Jack, I'm going to have to. That's going to have to be a draw for you officially. Then I think. Because you're non-committal, I'm I'm going to go with the Avengers. 
I'm going right. to stay with Family Adams then. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I think the Avengers will take it. I think they've got too much movement speed and and there's just not enough tackle on Gem's team to, to deal with it. I think Gem's going to take a few key key removals and then that's going to be... Let's hope he does. I really hope he does. Um, but yes, that was Division 1. Let's take a look at Division 2. Best Division. So we'll quickly go over the uh, the results. So Slayer X nil, Power Slave 1984 1. Um, this one was obviously my game uh, yes. unfortunately for Emily she is at the point now where she's lining up with 11 players pretty much every game which means as soon as she starts losing players she has to do increasingly more and more drastic yeah. things to try and bring it back around which increases the likelihood of her losing players and so it just becomes a death spiral but well, what she else did can you well do? in the first half to <clears throat> yeah. stop you from scoring oh, she played really well considering the disadvantage she was yeah. at but uh, yeah, it just didn't come off for her, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, she she just couldn't get the passes off as well. That didn't really yeah, help very much. That didn't help at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, double yeah. ones on passes did, never helps. Solid 1-0 win. Um, all right, this was a very entertaining game. No escape and oh. fate 2, all cutting stunts 2. Why don't you take us through it, Jack? So this was a, a decided to see who could get into the playoffs, essentially. Uh, so I needed to win this game. So I was pulling all sorts of shenanigans with all dice and everything like that. And I was pulling some of it off. Um, but yeah, at the end, in the end of the day, I, I was going to struggle against the Skaven with all the, the block and movement that they had. So I was happy with the result. Um, and Sam seemed to be a little bit <laughs> not so happy with the result. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good result for um, for you, that is, to all. Ah, I think most absolutely. people would have predicted a loss. Um, I predicted a loss. Yeah, was... so fair play. Good job. <laughs> not uh, enough to... Uh, give him that playoff hope. It's not enough to guarantee playoffs, but we'll we'll look at that in a yeah. uh, in a minute. Lizards in pajamas three, Snotling Stars one. Uh, did anyone catch this? No, that's a shame because I imagine it was amusing because they always are. Um, yeah. So the Snotlings threw three, five, ten, thirteen, twenty-one blocking dice in the whole game. <laughs> um. <laughs> What did they manage? Ooh, they, yeah, they tried to pass it five times. He, he attempted two Hail Mary passes. I knew he would because he finally got that. Yeah, um, yeah well, it's 3 1 to the vastly superior yeah. team. What, do you, what can you say, really? Since the, the change from last season with these games is uh, obviously the teams now have more block, some tackle. They start to counter the snotlings and can yeah. get them down. And yeah, the. That's the difference between first season and second season with this whole Snotling team. Absolutely. Uh, last up, Ingrave Danger 1, Rakdos Runaways 2. This was a uh, top-of-the-table clash. Yes. Um, great result for for the chaos, this is. Um, yeah. And look at that, an SPP fest for them as well. They inflicted... Well, they didn't inflict any deaths, though, but Ingrave Danger did. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. What have we got going on here? So, Ingrave Danger. Not too good on the armor rolls. Not good at all. Couldn't get his guys back after a KO. Runaways. <laughs> Tried to play a passing game, apparently. <laughs> yeah, who knows? We can only speculate, right? Well, um... <coughs> Did mostly, you watch it? if you spray across the ball, if you get desperate, you can pass. Yeah, well, that's the beauty yeah, of Chaos, isn't that's it? The, the, yeah, that's... The thing with Chaos, you sometimes forget that those big, strong, strength four guys still have the agility three as well. Exactly, or four if you've rolled the right level ups. Let's take a look at yeah. the teams. So Rakdos Clonaways almost at two K TV, embracing the bloats. Yes. Well, that's the only way with Chaos. <clears throat> I'm really sorry, Fritch, but um, I think this is probably the second best <laughs> Chaos team in the division at this point. <laughs> In fact, he's probably giving Dave a run for his money. He's certainly got a higher yeah. TV. But it makes it a lot easier to develop when you uh, are in a division that involves a game against snotlings. <laughs> yeah, and vampires. <clears throat> <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't going to say Whoa. that, but I was thinking Whoa. it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got two two can openers, which is nice. Yes. It, claw might blow on two players now. Um and Tentacles on the Minotaur as well. Yeah, a bit surprised yeah, he hasn't gone for Claw on him, but I suppose at this point it doesn't matter anymore because usually you yeah, get Claw he's got first, don't you? Claw already. 
So. Yeah. So what would you get next for on on this guy? Do you think? What would you go for? On the one tour. Yeah. Obviously, double. It's always block. If yeah. He doesn't rock double. No, stand firm could go well with both guard and tentacles. Yeah, could get a Obviously prehensile tail the, as well. Yeah, prehensile tail can help. I like the idea of putting sidestep or something with tentacles, so they're never able. To, you're always able to put him into the right position. Yeah, that would yeah, require a double. A double. If, and if you're going to get a double, you've got to go block, haven't you? Really? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Like maybe for a second double or something. Yeah, looking looking good. This team is. I mean, actually, I'd say that these guys are in with an outside chance of winning the entire playoffs. Right? There's no reason why you couldn't yeah. win the playoffs yeah. with this team. Um, it's looking good. Um, yeah, they, they can certainly go far. Say, yeah. Against a heavily dodged team, there's no tackle there. Yeah, that is missing, to be that, fair. That's the one glaring omission from the development here. Yeah, I think he's gone for a very... Because I, th- I suppose the thing is, if he's he's getting block on everyone now, ne- by the end of by the start of next season, he'll start getting his tackle. And yeah. next season's playoffs will be his zenith. As, yeah. uh, as, a, as a team really um, but yeah these are looking great good team let's take a look at the Snotling Stars they've Best almost team. made it to 1000 team value um, they would <laughs> if it weren't for some uh, myths next games by the looks of it that is true and he's got a lot of money in the bank um, yeah <laughs> what do you say about this he's got a he's got a Noblar that has 42 SPP and it's worth about as much as an average lineman. Yeah. <laughs> but it can sprint quite far and yeah. jump up. It's it Hail can Mary always pass, get wherever you need it. He's got his Hail Mary pass. That's all that matters, really. He's got he's got a diving catcher that, as right, well yeah. to receive it. A load of short feet to... It's Hail Mary pass. <laughs> We're now on to Nork Junior, 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 Junior. <laughs> yes. And the original Nork is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nork's done fine. It was just Nork Junior that died. Yeah, his offspring are extremely a few lucky. Times. Let's keep watching his children die. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's move on. Uh, right, the old cunning stunts. Best so what have we got? See. Ooh, you've you've rolled an Agi up on your vampire. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. That's a hypnogaze on a two up, dodging through tackle zones on a two up. Picking up in tackle zones on a two up. Yep. So you've got your you've got him to to uh, hypno gaze a corner. You've got your um, strip strip, strip ball, ball guy in. to break cages. You've got a tackler. You've got some block. You've got your dedicated fowler. You've got your kicker. You've gone for a cheeky hail mary pass. Take us through that yeah. that decision there. Well, my thinking was is I'm often in a case where only one thrall can ever touch a ball, and if I can get that and lob it down the pitch against a particularly slow team like Kemry, then it uh, it might just save me a touchdown. Well, I can guarantee you that it definitely uh, won't save you a touchdown, Jack, but we'll discuss <laughs> that later. Um... <laughs> one, one, one touchdown off getting the, the third, fourth fourth level vampire. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, are you going to start... Are you, what are you going to do with this uh, AG5 vamp then when he levels up next? Are you going to turn him think, into a passer or something? I was thinking strong arm so that I can pass nine squares away on a two up. Yeah, that's. A, I, I mean, that's a sensible ch- choice, I think. Um, yeah, the, I think your only downside is the bloat, but I guess you want all your your blood bags, right? I'm I'm happy to have that. I was considering dropping to fifteen, um, just so I could hire a star player or two, but I'm I'm more than happy with having a full roster. Fair play, fair play. Let's have a look at the Slayerettes. Uh, so they've yet to do their two level ups. Um, <coughs> one of them's on a blitzer, and the other one's on a witch elf. So that's actually kind of yeah. where you want it at this point, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we'll take a look in a second to see if she can actually still make playoffs. I don't believe she can. No, I'm pretty sure she can't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's not really much to say here. I'm pretty confident this team's getting dumped at the end of this season. Yes. Uh, which is uh, a shame because we've got some so. decent development, but all of those niggles and stat downs. Yeah. There's you far just, too many serious yeah, injuries. It really is a write-off, isn't it, at this point? Oh, well. Fair play. Sailor V. Let's have a look at the next team. No escape and fate. Uh, okay. <laughs> that storm vermin at the top is just a farce. 
grab and claw. <laughs> <laughs> well, that claw Marty blows nice. So he's got a can opener now as well. Um, yeah. He's got a sprint on his gutter runner, so that's his one turner with ten yeah. movement. That's nice. This is got this a is few more times good. to get shot off feet to make it more reliable. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he's got several blodgers now, um, and he, oh, and he's got uh, he's got dauntless. Yeah, yes. that that did a few things against me. Because <laughs> you're the gutter runner, yeah, we're dauntless. It, yeah, allows it to punch a little higher of its weight. Yeah, presumably it'll be strip ball next on that one, and then he's uh, yeah. he's breaking cages. Yeah, looking good, looking decent. Um, still not got his uh, rat ogre back from when uh, from when he got killed like last season or something. I think he yeah, but... accidentally bought a re-roll instead of a right ogre. Oh yeah, he did at one point. To be honest with you, I think that's probably a better investment anyway. Don't really see the point in having rat ogres. Uh, especially when your whole ethos is that you run fast and run away. But yes, looking good. Again, another team that could realistically be challenging for the playoffs. Uh, let's take a look at the Lizards. So, ooh, armor down on the Crocs. Them. That's nasty. In fact, yeah, that, that I'm saying that like one. I don't know that I did that, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, movement down on a skink and miss next game on a side step skink. So, From their yeah. game against the Snotlings. <clears throat> I'm assuming that's fouls. <laughs> that's <caused> that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he, he needs to fire, fire that uh, movement down skink. There is no yeah, point definitely. having a skink if it's got less than eight movement. That yeah. one's getting rid of. Um, yeah, they're completely useless by yeah. that point. So he's actually he's in a bit of a tight spot here because what's he got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he's eight, got nine, ten. Ten. Players. ten players for his next game. Can't really afford to buy any more. All the pieces are there. He's got four Saurus with block. He's got a, a mighty blow and guard. He's got his tackle. There's no reason why he can't succeed, but it is going to rely on him not getting swiftly outnumbered. He's going to have to protect yeah. those skinks. I'm not sure if I'd have taken the movement up on the Saurus. I was just thinking that. The whole point is, that, w especially with their agility, is that they're, they're a roadblock, and yeah, would you really forego taking block just to uh, get that movement 7 on it? I mean, I, yeah, I agree. I think we had this conversation at the time. And I don't think it's it would. It, I, I think I said it. It wasn't really worth it. But the thing is, when you get the opportunity, it's difficult to turn it down, isn't it? Because you immediately think, oh well, I can, I can build it into this, and I can do that with it. And blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately, oh, uh, yeah, I may be a bit too quick to turn it down at sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, what what is movement up eleven? Uh, uh, no, it's eleven's it, agile. It, no, it's so ten. It's 10 yeah. But... But if it's rolled on a on a six, it's then just becomes either yeah. movement up, yeah. armor up, That's or a normal. It. Oh well, um, he's, he's got it. When I rolled it this week, I took a normal. It, do, it does to... mean that he can, he could, he could build it into an efficient blitzing piece down the line. To be fair, with seven yeah. movement, could even give it um, like guard and break tackle or something, and move it around the pitch. Harassing yeah. people. There's options anyway. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's take a look at Engrave Danger. So, what have we got going on here? So he's got the, uh, he's got two guard mummies and then three other guard pieces, but one of them won't be available for the next game. So a lot of guard, yeah. hell of a lot of guard. Um, yes. He's he's decided That's to good. get some zombies now as well, <laughs> which is probably a sensible call. Missing is only Archie four. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And he could probably do with another ghoul. I mean, I'd consider getting another ghoul ahead of his next game, just in case these ones get yeah. screwed. I'm a huge fan of that zombie. What, the strength four block? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a ridiculous piece, isn't it, that? Well, just because he's called Jack. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame that he's not got more development on his other... Um, on his other mummy, really, and he could do with a bit of break tackle on one of these guys. But the the block is nice. Yes. The fact that he's got the block is lovely. Yeah, you. I mean, this is a decent team. Another team that you, you would expect to be doing all right. They're not that far behind the uh, undead team in the division above him. Yeah. yeah. Any anyone want to say anything about these guys? 
No, no. I think it's Corbin said. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. All right, now we move on oh. to the important one. Power Slave 1984. <clears throat> Once again, is this not the greatest Camry team you've ever seen? <laughs> so Much quite nice as far as Camry go, yeah. Yeah, this Blitzrar has now rolled a Strength Up, an Agi Up, and two doubles, making him a Strength 4, Agi 3, Blodger with Sidestep. And an armor down. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a movement up on my throw R, which is always nice. Um, yeah. I mean... At least you've got your throw R back for your next game. <laughs> yeah. I can't really be objective about this team, can I? So, <laughs> if you guys want to say anything, now is your chance. I mean, considering your TV, I was expecting a lot more players. So, yeah. I'm, considering this a, I'm considering that a win. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... He's <laughs> uh, gotten... You've gotten the guard on three Tomb Guardians. They've, yeah. So they've started to survive a little. You uh, got the MVP on the other one. Game just gone. Yep. So uh, you you make, yeah, starting that you just need to hope to uh, get something like block to help them survive a little, so they don't have to take those. It's the armor, decay uh, that screws them. rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want to yeah. be rolling injury and having that decay come up. Need a dedicated Fowler as well. I did have one, but lost him. I did yeah. also have another skeleton with an Agi up, um, but he got <laughs> killed immediately. <laughs> like, within two turns of getting the Agi up. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that this is a decent-looking team in my non-objective point of view. I am I am worried against this, about this team. It's yeah. a decent-looking Kemri team. <clears throat> yeah. Not okay. enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the table. So, here we are. Right, this one is a bit more complicated than the previous one. Yes. So, the top four teams in this division will make it into the playoffs. Yes. Uh, at current, we have... Uh, two teams out. Yep, yeah, two teams definitely out. That's the... Uh, it's not only the Stars of the Slayerettes. And two teams definitely in. That's the Undead in Chaos. So, ultimately, yeah. it's between Kemri, Skaven, Lizards and Vamps. Now... <laughs> Who's got who in the next round? Let's have a look. Um, um, it's Power Slave <clears throat> against the Vamps. Yep. It's uh, Snotlings against the Slayerettes. Yep. The bottom of the table clash. Chaos versus Skaven. And um, Ingrove Danger against the Lizards. So, in order for uh, the Vampires to make it into the playoffs, they're going um, to need. The no escape and fate to lose, and um, yes, preferably yeah. by about two or three yeah. touchdowns against the chaos. <clears throat> and they're going need... to need lizards in pajamas to lose. Yes, and so then they have to win. Yeah, so lizards in pajamas losing to the top of the table team is not that outlandish. Yeah, and um, Skaven losing to that great chaos team isn't. Uh, out of the realms of possibility, either. Correct, yeah. Uh, there's enough of a swing, because currently... Touchdown difference. Uh, they touch de touchdown difference. The Skaven have four, the Vampires have one. Yeah. So there needs to be that uh, that swing there. But the thing is, if, if the Skaven lose by one, and the Vampires win by two, it's reason... <sighs> All you that need is to get a few... level touchdown difference. Yeah, but what, which one will go to casualty difference... Which is also pretty close. So you're going to yes. have to. I wouldn't rely on it. So I think if the vampires are going to get through, they're going to need to win by several touchdowns. Yeah, they've got to aim to win by two, at least three, at preferably. Least. Yeah, Pre yeah. And have and have results go their way. Outside of the vamps, uh, lizards in pajamas still need the Skaven to lose, and they need to. Basically, win a, a draw oh. won't probably won't be enough. Um, well, no. If the vampires do win, then uh, the lizards just have to win. Yeah. Well, no, the vampires are irrelevant because oh yeah, that's true actually. Yeah, if the vampires beat me, yeah. above power yeah. Slave. So if the vampires yeah. beat me uh, and no escape, but they'll they'd still need no escape and fate to lose. No, they wouldn't, no. Yeah. No, they wouldn't. Wow, this is really quite close, isn't it? Yeah. Really quite amazingly close. Um, yeah, so there's basically it's it really is very much dependent on results going. But, 
at the end of the day, if Power Slave 1984 win, they're through. If No Escape and Fate win, yeah. they're through. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's the that's what it boils down to. So we'll see how that goes. Um, speaking of which, shall we take a look at the predictions? Um, Power Slave 1984, the all cunning stunts. Shall we let uh, the one person that doesn't coach one of these two teams kick us off here, Sean? Uh, um, it's a tough one because Sean, just yeah. remember we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say, yeah, the Camry are looking good, but obviously they're a bit slow and more cagey, and the Vampires, as long as they behave, are the perfect team for breaking through those cages. So, tough call. Um, <laughs> I think I might have to give it to the vampires as long as they behave. Oh my Boom! god, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Two nil to the vampires. Wow. Two okay. nil. I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to say that. I thought you were going to be like, I'm really sorry, Jack, but this one's obvious. But obviously it's not obvious. I, I don't know. I, I've I've played against a bit of Hypnotic Gaze now, and Jack's gotten pretty good at working out when to use it. Um, <clears> that's going to be... Yeah. Yeah, if but hypnotic gaze cool. doesn't work very well if you've had your eyes ripped out. Yeah, <laughs> as if you get the chance to do that. Well, this is, Ben, this is the first time you'll have played me since season one of the Collaborators Casual. That's true. Yeah. So, um, oh well. See, I don't think you were in for season one, was you? Yeah, he was. Yep. Oh, yep. was you? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Bottom, of the, league, no the bottom of the league. No the league. I thought I thought uh, Max came bottom of the league in season one. Oh no, he beat me. Oh, yeah, wow. Course. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Well, anyway, I predict that I'll win because I obviously will. Jack? <laughs> I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to beat you 2 0, <laughs> just like Sean said. <laughs> because that's what I need. All right. But that's what's going to happen. Fair enough. Uh, okay, well, um, Snotling Stars versus the Slayerettes. <laughs> well, I think the Slayerettes have enough to win this. Yeah. There's enough I mean, skills there to deal with those Snotlings now. Yeah, yeah. I th- I'd be surprised if she doesn't, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. But she doesn't have any tackle. or Does she have tackle? No. She's got more block now than... <clears throat> Emily, if you are watching this, you need to give tackle to that blitz. <laughs> <laughs> if you roll a double. <laughs> Both the blitz are the witch. Yeah. yeah. Um, Go all in. But there's loads of block there, and yeah. obviously the Snotlins can't deal with that block. I think though the Snotlings are, are, they foul a lot, and if the Slayer yeah, start losing, yeah, people... if if he can <clears throat> remove enough players, it can become a different game. But I think the Slayerettes have the edge there. Uh, okay, I'd, yeah, I I'd agree. Bet on them winning, I think they'll probably win. Um, I'm, I'm going to give it to the Snotlings. Of course you are. So uh, Rakdos Runaways, New Escape and Fate. Ooh, this is a tough one. This is a really tough one. So the Skaven have got. The capability to hurt these guys. They've got Claw Mighty Blow. Yeah. Think... And obviously their armor means that the the claw that the uh, Chaos have discounted. Exactly. So. Um, but obviously the Minotaur having that tentacles could cause an issue for some yeah. of these uh, dodgy. So if he gets, the Skaven uh... will cakewalk it. If the chaos can't a deal with those gut runners as quickly as possible, b get that minotaur into the right places to make use of tentacles, I think yeah. that's probably what it boils down to, right? Yeah. Yep. So the question is, can he? Can he do it? And what are the inducements looking like? Skaven fifteen uh, seventy. Yes, Skaven. Chaos will get a lot. nineteen thirty. Wow, that's a lot of inducements. I think, uh, given that both teams look about on par with one another. Maybe the chaos slightly more developed. Um, yeah. Oh wow, they're saying, yeah, they're quite a bit more developed. But I think the, yeah. the, those inducements are going to make a, a world of difference. And while I fully accept that I may be totally wrong about this, I'm going to have to give it to the Skaven. I need the Runaways yeah. to win, so I'm going to give it to the Runaways. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's going to be a close call, and it'll depend on what happens with inducements. But I'm going to give it to the Skaven. Fair enough. Two, one. Yeah, sounds about right. Last up, we've got Ingrave Danger versus Lizards in Pyjamas. So, 
Uh, this is going to be another close one. The TVs are very close. This is just the last time in the world that the lizards wanted all those guys to be out and to have no money to replace them. Yeah. They really are at a disadvantage. If they can it's fight through be... it and somehow make it, they'll be loving it. Yeah. I think, so, yeah, the challenge is that yeah, they'll lie up be on two standard skinks to replace. Yeah. So Undead are 1450 and the lizards are... 1400, but with two. Oh, oh we're only one. <clears throat> one extra skink. Uh, plus yeah, up to 1460. So, 40, 60. so no inducements either way, really. Yeah. Um, I'd, I, I would love to see the lizards win this and make it through. I really uh, would. Yeah. But, I, I, but I just don't think that. I just think the loss of those two players for this game is yeah. going to shaft them. So I think I'm going to have to give this to the undead. I'm going to go with the undead as well. Yeah, I'm going to go with the undead. 1 0. Okay, well, that was Division 2. Let's take a look at 3A. So, um, Russian Rotters nil, Alerials Falcons 2. That is a huge result for a Wood Elf team that was quite depleted and that has also played against a team that stops them from being able to pass properly. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, Wood Elves have the movement to get into positions where they're outside of disturbing presence. Yes, a lot easy. The Rotters only rolled eight pals, which is not good for them. So the the <laughs> that's actually quite a, a nice, comfortable yeah. sort of thirteen, thirteen, twenty, thirteen, eight. You can you can accurately say there that those are slightly bad dice. Um, yeah, but that was a bottom of the table clash. Yeah. The the Falcons only rolled one skull, which is great for those guys. Uh, but what did they really get up to? Well, they succeeded four passes. Particularly against Noodle, that's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fantastic, that is. And six uh, catches. Say, if you know what you're doing with, you know, <laughs> with that disturbing presence, you plan your moves to not be in it. Yeah. And that's how you get... Looks like it caught some stray balls four as out well. Of five. I'm getting the impression here that the Rotters just had a really <laughs> unlucky game here. If he failed three passes, which will be where the yeah. the Wood Elves kept getting their stray catches from. And yeah, 2-0 to the Wood Elves. Fair play. Great result for those guys. Um, Cincinnati been Orcs 1, Yeet for distance 0. Um, you would have expected the Orcs to score significantly more. It looks like, well, 75% of the ball possession. Pretty much all of the SPP. And it is. Obviously, playing against Wood Elves, you don't want to keep giving them the ball. So, yep, true enough. You often try to stall it out and score less. Yeah, just a a bad time here for the Wood Elves by the looks of it. Uh, couldn't catch, couldn't pick up. Yeah, not good. Which is somehow <laughs> it goes when you're planning on rolling dice or game. Exactly, yep. Unfortunate. Uh, but only a 1 0 loss. And finally, we've got the Ne'er Do Wells 2. Ye old faithful nil. This was an absolute slaughter. Oh yes, I, I watched this game. Look at that! Now, Look at although, that SPP. Oh my god! <laughs> although I don't know if you can see it on here, you should have seen the amount of yeah the the no, casualty two marks. die up here. Oh no! Um, oh no! It doesn't highlight it on here, but the amount of um, two die. Um, uphills that the dwarves rolled and passed was ridiculous. Yeah, you can get away with that with dwarves though, can't you? Yeah, That's the thing. You um, well, great result for the Nerdy Wells, terrible result for the dwarves. Let's have a look at the teams. So, Yeet for distance. Um, <clears throat> wow. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, yeah. Great, is it? This well, is, this is looks... awful, yeah. Uh, two strength down linemen. I guess the movement down is the big problem on that war dancer because you can live with um, your linemen. Yeah. You, this sort oh. of team... Oh, the elf teams with the seven, you uh, you live off keeping your positionals alive and leveled up and you're used to just taking journeyman linemen. Yeah, so I was speaking to this coach um, after his game yesterday and he was saying, I'm going to keep this team into the next season. Do not keep this team into the next season. I'm not saying that as a as a sort of, 
uh, you know, middle finger or anything. But with these two strength downs, they're both going to have to be fired, otherwise they're going to cause you so many problems. Yeah. Your movement down War Dancer, uh, while there's nothing wrong uh, with the rest of this team, you might as well just start fresh. Yeah. Now that you've yeah, got the experience for how to play them, you might as well just start yeah. over again. Is it just me as well who's noticed they've got one reroll? <clears throat> yeah, that's not good either. It's start start ideal. fresh next season, two War Dancers, nine linemen, two rerolls. You're laughing. Yeah. You'll have a, you'll have a wicked time, uh, but yeah, these yeah, guys are too broken. Yeah, if it weren't for the movement down on the war dancer, yeah, is that double movement down? The, the movement down's not even that much of it. Yeah, it is double yes, movement yeah. down. The movement down's not a huge. I mean, it's not great, but like you could just build him a bit unusual and give him weird stuff and yeah. make him interesting. The problem is that he's now got two strength down linemen that both need firing because they're just going to get yeah. ragged around with seven armor. They're just going to cause uh, you problems. You better well, off uh, I've found with the Elven Union, you just have to live with that. You get strength downs on your linemen, you sack them, you, you just run with you. Yeah, oh yeah, sack them. But the, pro the, pro the problem he's got is, <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to sack two linemen. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I'd keep him if there was more development or dancer in the catcher. Yeah, but, but I mean, I honestly think that if he keeps this team into next season, he's going to have a bad time. Yes. He's going to be playing against other developed teams, and he's going to be yes. the least developed team. And he doesn't have season. enough going on on those war dancers. Yeah, yet. yeah absolutely. Got to start fresh, I think. Um, and, and, you know, you probably, now that you've got the experience of playing, do some, or even consider trying a different elf team. Pick one that yeah. can actually do a bit of fighting, like Dark Elves or something. Anyway, we're, Or vampires. We're, yeah, or vampires. Um, let's take a look <laughs> at the Russian rockers. <laughs> Join the cult. Gotta have a funny, funny mind to enjoy playing vampires. <laughs> funny mind. <laughs> um, right, so we've got two rotters with block, and we've got stand firm on the beasts. We've got a pestigore with his agi down and block. Uh, I think the yeah. main thing that this team is missing is someone who can reliably pick up the ball. So yeah. when this pestigore gets his level up, uh, give him sure hands so that someone can pick up the ball and run with it. Yeah, so Other than at that, least this is looking all right. Yeah, that's uh, the agi three pest gore will have to become the ball carrier, and the agi down pest gore is keeping him, and will have to become blitzer. Yep, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a shame that we've not got anything on these Nurgle warriors. They're all kind of on the verge of leveling yeah. up, aren't they? Just like a another cash on two of them, and you'll get that level, which might be quite nice if he makes it into the playoffs. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is looking all right. This is. Yeah, if yeah, if you can get all those Nurgle warriors leveled up in the in this next game, which could possibly happen. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, you'd if you just get victimize a load of your opponent. You'd be all right for uh, next season. Yep. Let's have a look at the Cincinnati Benox. One thousand five hundred and ten. <laughs> wow. What is going oh, on there? Ah, oh, well, he's gone nice for the troll. Garden. That explains it. Yeah, he's got a troll. And a goblin. Yeah, this is looking nice already, isn't it? He's got uh, he's got a couple of mighty blows on his blitzers. Yep. He's got a couple got of guards. He's got three guard actually. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's three nice guard. He's got troll. block on one black orc. A couple. One that's. Oh well, all of the black orcs have something on them, so they get yep. closer. MVP on any of them will level them up. Yep. Yeah, it looks like he's he's doing all yeah, right. Yeah. Nice start. Four team rerolls as well. Great, more orcs. That's just what the league needs. Okay, orcs. let's take a look at some more orcs. Some One thousand four hundred ninety TV. Um, wow. Yeah. Okay, so his he's thrower <laughs> has got a uh, block and kickoff return now. So that's yes, that's pretty that's nasty. Perfect thrower for him. Yeah, Mister Hempel. Couple of couple of black orcs with block. Uh, yeah, he's got his tackler. He's got mighty blow on two blitzes. He's got a couple of. Uh, Couple of guard. The only thing yeah. he's really suffering from is his trolls not leveled up yet. Yeah. Get another injury on that guy, and you're laughing. I think. Um, yeah. You expect these guys yeah, to be doing all right. Uh, yeah. The reason that one's lower TV than the other one is no goblin. But I think <laughs> you, uh, yeah, I think Graham's using this troll for as a uh, big tough piece to leave in the middle of the field as a roadblock movement. Rather than a one-turner, yeah. As yeah. you should. And he's got 100k in the bank as well, which is nice. Um, ye oldie faithful, fresh from their battering. Uh, they had a... Was it a uh, movement Most down? of it was badly hurt. Yeah. So. One of them had a terrible injury of some a, kind. A, um, a troll slayer rolled an armor down, 
he appoed it into a death and chose the death because he knew he was going to be firing <laughs> the armor down Troll Slayer anyway. <laughs> That's why he's got Troll Slayer number three. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, he's got, what, ten players here? Yeah. yeah. So he's going to have a journeyman for his next game. I mean, the thing is, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah it's just going to be a it's fine. Uh, dwarf blocker on the line. He's got he's got block on both of his runners, and he's got kickoff return on one of them. Yeah, uh, he that, can still dwarf. Thing. So far, he's only leveled those runners, which was where he ran into the challenge of all that guard in the orc team. Yeah, it's like when uh, yeah the orc team was doing the dwarf job better than the dwarfs because he's uh, it, everything's gone on these runners. His MVPs tended towards the runners a lot as well, and. He's not gotten all that guard you'd usually associate with dwarfs across all these long beards and blitzers. Mm. Yep. Still, no reason why I can't compete. Uh, let's take a look at Alariel's Falcons. <clears throat> so this is looking like a pretty decent Wood Elf team. Yeah, obviously light on players, but <clears throat> you expect that, and you can run with Journeyman yeah. if you've got this sort of development on the board answers and catchers. Yeah, he's, he's using his catcher as a kind of picker upper of the ball, which is interesting. Yeah. I'm guessing. I guess he. Well, it's not a bad thing because it's movement eight. Can yeah. Cover definitely. a lot of the field. War dancers are harder to take down, so they can be quite good to catch the ball. Leap yeah. can get them out of difficult positions as well. He's got his kicker. Um, yeah. I mean, he's again. This is a decent team here. He's got all the all the pieces. Yeah. He's got. He's got two war dancers with strip ball now, so he can break cages. This yep. is—you'd expect these guys to be doing all right. This is the kind of, this is the kind this of thing. Is what that you're looking see. for? Yeah, you want to take this, else. possibly take it into the second season. Although it's just—it's a shame. So many movement downs on war dancers in this. Yeah. In this league, um, but yeah, this is looking pretty decent. Uh, yep. Let's take a look at the league table, shall we? Okay. So three A. <clears throat> Nerdwell's at the top with four wins. Yep, so it's the top three teams that make it through from this division. Yep. At the moment, that's going to be Nerdwell's. That's the two Orcs and Yeet for this. something else. Yeah, the Rotters are out, unfortunately for them. Yeah. Um But the... Ye Olde Faithful. So, who are Ye Olde Faithful playing next um, week? Yeet for Distance. Okay, so, so basically it's between them two. Knocks that will knock out the Falcons because yeah, whatever, so the Falcon, res whatever, yeah, whatever there, result yeah. Um, in that game between third and fourth, that t team will finish in the playoffs. Yeah. So uh, the only game that matters is Yeet for Distance and Ye Olde Faithful. Well, um, the Ben Oaks need to draw or better to guarantee their second place. Yeah. And who have the Benorks got? Um, the Alarian Falcons. Yeah, so. so... And I think it's reasonable to assume that the Russian Rotters will not lose, uh, will not beat the Nerdy Wells, because it is technically possible for the Benorks to go top. Yes. And it is possible for the Benorks to finish third, although they've got a good touchdown difference, so that's... Uh, less likely. Yeah. Well, and also, yeah, um, Graham's got such a great touchdown difference. First place is going to be a challenge. Yeah, he's not conceded <laughs> all season. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at those um, matchups. So, Illyrials Falcons, Cincinnati Benorks. That's, that's a difficult one to call, I think. Um, you would probably say Orcs, right? Because they've got so much development. But if the Wood yeah. Elves can just pass around them, no reason why they can't win it. And that's the better looking of the Wood Elf teams. Yep. Yeah. What do you think, lads? Yes. I, I think the, the Wood Elves are going to take it, personally. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I think I they've know. got enough, enough development to not be drawn into fighting. I can't really look past the Orcs for this one, I don't think. They've just got too much on the team. They've got like the numerical advantage. They can fight. They've got a bit of tackle. I think it's going to be difficult. I think I'm going to go with the Orcs. What do you think, Sean? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I think I've got to go Orcs. I've played enough Elf against Orc games. It's difficult. There's not going to be a great deal of team value difference which the journeymen's are, the journeyman players are added. Mm. He, might, he might just get um, 200k, so a little bit. Wizard and Abate, that's, that can yeah. be enough to... Could yeah, be. depends keep, what he spends it on. Yeah, I'd even consider so. getting a star player. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the Orcs. Yeah, fair enough. All right, Russian Rotters, Ne'er-Do-Wells. Well, the Rotters have done all right to but, be as developed as they are, but I don't think that he's going to beat Graham. Yeah. <laughs> Graham's just too experienced. Yeah, Graham is very good. He's developed those Orcs well. First season isn't the easiest for uh, Nurgle. They're very light on core skills, so I, I think I can't pass the Orcs there. Yeah, I agree. Jack? So, Gra- 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 Graham's got this. He's, he's not conceded a touchdown all, all season. Yeah. I don't think he's I'm saying 2 0. He keeps that record. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and here we go the one that matters Yeet for distance versus Ye Aldi Faithful. Uh, this is a think? tough one because both of them are taking a beating. Yeah. Uh, on, But all of their level ups have been put into dodge against yeah. Dwarf, which is tackle. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. That they've got one strip ball, but yeah, it's. But the runners have sure hands. Yeah, I've got, I've got to, I've got to give it to the dwarf. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, the it dwarf seems to have... counter everything that those wood elves are going to do. Yeah, it's going to, it's going, the wood elves are going to have to be excellent at positioning and very lucky, and not roll any ones on their dodges, and I just yeah, so... don't think the latter of yeah. those two is something that you can expect to happen, so I think I'm going to have to go with the Dwarves. Yeah, 2-1 to the Dwarves. Yeah. I'm assuming you're on board with that, Jack? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I think the Dwarves are going to take that. Cool. Alright, let's take a look at 3B. So, we've still actually got a pl- game to play in 3B, so we'll skip over that for now. Uh, and I'm glad we are doing, because look at that. 4-0, you don't see that very often. What happened no. here? Let's have a look. So, uh, no, the destroyer. headline stats are pretty <clears throat> close. One pass each. Seven he armor succeeded breaks. eleven leaps. Eleven with zero failures. Oh god, yeah, that's big. Yeah, he picked up the ball six times successfully. He didn't fail <laughs> wow. a single go for it. Uh, only made. Only attempted to. <clears throat> yeah, that was. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, to be fair, the the Norse succeeded their pickups and passes as well. So is it perhaps the blocking dice? No, it's not that either. Well, guess he no, just blocks. Guess just outmaneuvered him then, or something. Yeah, he had a lot more possession. I think uh, it's probably think, the key start yeah, there. The, the Norse did succeed on a good chunk more blocks. Got uh, a couple more KOs and an injury. Yep. Well, well done. Well done to those guys. Let's take a look at uh, GK Cleaning Standards nil, Hyrule Owls 2. So, another Nurgle team that lost to a Wood Elf team. Oh, this is a... Should should have been 2-1, really. Yeah, but so I've, I've heard I, I've heard there was well, something that was yeah. forgotten, maybe? I'm, I'm yeah, forgot it'll be all right. Something. Did he leave the oven on or something? When Mike starts playing a few games, we'll start getting into the groove of how things work. Yeah, just lack of experience, really, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not enough turn awareness. Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> His loss is Pete's gain. So, uh, let's take a look at the teams. GK Cleaning Standards. So, we've got a 13-man roster here. Oh, we've got Block on the Boost. Lovely. Yeah. That's what you want, isn't it? Um, Four Pestigors. Yeah. Yeah, so Last definitely... More than enough Pestigors to get that ball over the line in his next game. We've got uh, uh, three yeah, Rotters with Block and one Fowler. Yeah, this is looking good. You want, you'd want to be keeping this into the next season, I think, wouldn't you? I think, really? Yeah, you'd be keeping yeah, this. Yeah, definitely. Several seasons. That's the whole point where a team like this is you know it's going to be a tough going first season, but the you get the Block problem. on the right players, get them turning over, and then next next season and the season after is where they really start to get going. Yeah, definitely. Um Let's have a look at the Hyrule Owls. Had a bit of a rough time near the beginning of the season. What have we got going on now? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is that? 
There's so many holes in that team. Yeah, well, no, I, no, this is sensibly laid out. I appreciate this. He's got his catchers, <laughs> he's got his linemen, he's got his war dancers and his treemen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, it looks worse than it is, actually. He's got an eight-man yeah. roster. Um, but it, I guess the catchers look really nice. The war dancers suffer the same problem of there's another war dancer with a movement down. Yeah. development. Yeah. His tree's got grab, which is quite nice. So it yeah, can, even if it roots, it can keep players in his sphere of influence. Yeah, the tree looks good. The catchers look good. Um, it's got his kick in there, but yeah, my only concern would be the ward answers. Yeah, I mean, if he um, if he has a good game, if he rolls a six, if he gets some decent level ups, uh, he can get himself another another couple of linemen over the next couple of yeah. games. All of a sudden, you've got a full. What else roster with some serious yeah. development on your catches, well, right? I'm not too, yeah, I'm not too bothered about the missing linemen because, say, journeyman linemen, they're not too bad uh, mm. when they're elves. It's just, yeah, I would have liked to have seen more development on the war dancers. Did he lose one? Because there's one there that's yeah, yeah, he has. I think he, I think he's lost two actually um, over yeah. the course of the season. Everyone's had a rough that time with the war dancers. Sense. It's not been a good season to be a war dancer. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is looking all right. There's no reason why he can't do well yeah. with this team. Journeyman linemen for what elves are better than, still better than most linemen for most teams. Full stop. Yes. Um, so yeah, uh, let's move on. The Norse. So they had a terrible game last game, but they're looking all right. This is not yeah, a bad um, Norse roster. He's still got twelve of them. Uh, a little light on level up, but yeah, star player points. It's just spread very evenly. Yeah, across the team. So. Give it a couple more games, and these could certainly start to look like uh, something special. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if his next game's a stomp, if he gets uh, if he gets a casualty on his yeti on that wolf, yeah, a uh, couple of uh, linemen, all of a sudden you've got four or five level ups in one game. Yeah. You're laughing. Yeah. That yeti really needs something though, so they can give it claw mighty blow. Yes, That's what you want. He does. So yeah, yeah. let's uh, let's move on. The bat fasters. These guys have still got an extra game yet to play. Yeah. Well, yeah. four ogres now. Uh, well, sorry, he's always had four ogres, but yeah. uh, he's on the movement v- six block. Block. Yeah, that's guard. ridiculous. Imagine if he gets an agi up on that movement six block ogre. That'd be amazing. Yeah. What's his one knob log got? Uh, sure feet. Sure feet. Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty standard ogre build, right? He's got his. Yeah. He's just going to keep saving up for more ogres at this point. Yeah, it looks. Oh, stinky yeah, fingers. As as it's a disgusting look. name for an ogre. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, okay, well, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> Dynamo Destroyer. Oh, that strength of four blitz is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, he's got his kicker. Lovely. He's got his bear now. I don't know how long he's had that for. Sidestep and dodge on a catcher. Yep. Nice. That's what you want. So he can... Yeah. He can the end, that diving catch is good. So really, he wants to get Hail Mary pass on one of his linemen now, doesn't he, ideally? Yeah, uh, that's... Certainly an option. Um, yep. Obviously, he's got his kick in there. This is he's looking like a pretty good quite team. Quite a few linemen ready to level up. Five, yeah. five, five, four. <laughs> I mean, th- this is a team like, especially with that strength up. You're thinking, you'd be thinking, yeah, this is a team that could go all the way. Three, two seasons from now, these guys could be awful to play against with loads of ridiculous yeah, skills. It'd be, yeah, it's certainly interesting that they've survived well enough. It'll be interesting to see where they go because it's a team you don't see often. Yeah. I think getting some guard would be good, so you can guard into cages and get multiple. Die blocks in the, in the yeah, it's carry. not that easy though because uh, the only players on this team that have got access to strength are the blitzers. Yeah, and, and really you want them to be getting like block and stuff like that, don't you? As quickly as yeah. possible. Um, but yeah, get what you're saying. Uh, let's move on. The dead meme gang. These guys have also got another game to play. Yes. Right. Yeah. Looking good. Wow. Look at that Pestagore. He's got big hand and extra arms. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's what you want. He's having an easy time handling the ball. Yep, uh, he's got a he's got a block mighty blow warrior. That's lovely. Um, we're, we're missing a rotter, but he's still got a twelve man roster. And again, he's still got an extra game to play on most of the teams in this league. So yeah, and he's got a rotter on five, warrior on. Four. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, lots of lots of potential here for leveling up. Um, I mean, yeah. actually, let's take a look at the table now, shall we? Because I'm I'm interested yeah. to see where this all stands. Yeah. So oh, well, I had a look before, and that one game that needs to be played decides which of those teams at the bottom is going to keep keep themselves in where chance yeah. playoffs. So basically, uh, Batfasters and the Dead Meme Gang, you need to win that game that presumably you'll be playing some point this week, and that gives you a shot. Yeah. Uh, the high roll owls are, are through, more yeah. or less. Uh, in fact, definitely, yeah, they cannot be caught now. So I'm pleased to be on prediction with that. I actually said, even though the team looked absolutely devastated, I reckon they could still bring it around, and they had, and they did. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, Kiss Levin Nurgle. Yeah. Hmm. I'm surprised at how well Kiss have done, you know. I thought they'd yeah, get ragged yeah, around. Yeah, well, um... Yeah, fair play to him. Um, so it, it actually, it's still entirely possible. Pos is it possible for GK Cleaning Standards and Dynamo Destroyer to not not qualify? Not both of them. But who is playing who? That's the question. Because, um, uh, so if the Dead Meme Gang beat the High Roll Owls, and if if. G so hang on a sec. Who's who have the high roll owls got and who have Dynamo Destroyer got? Dynamo Destroyer have got the Bat Fastards next week. Yes. And the High Rule yeah. Owls have got the Dead Meme Gang. So it is yeah. possible for Dynamo Destroyer. So if the if the Bat Fastards win yeah, the game that, that they've got in hand, and then they beat Dynamo Destroyer. Yes. And if the High Roll Owls lose to the Dead Meme Gang, ah, but hang on a sec. Yeah, yeah, there becomes... we go. The penny drops. Yeah, okay. So at uh, least one what... of those two is going through, probably. Yes. Yes. At least one of them, and... What, is it top four that's going through? Top three, three. for Division 2. Okay. Yeah, this will be interesting, actually. I think this is probably the most interesting finish in the whole division. Um, so Anyone let's... Still make the playoffs, eh? Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's let's have a look at those oh, games, then. Yeah. So... Hyrule Owls, Dead Meme Gang. Once again, Wood Elves versus uh, Nurgle. That's going to be a tough matchup for them, isn't it? Um, I'm expecting a struggle. Do do the other? How do they do against the other Nurgle? Good question. Uh, presumably well. Uh, they won 2-0 <laughs> this week. So, well, the, uh, so they've already won against... But the thing is, you can't assume that Chris is going to choose not to score a touchdown. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It might be a curse going around. <laughs> it could just be this new Nurgle strat that we don't understand because we don't coach them. <laughs> uh, but still, I, th uh, you, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give it the Wood Elves based off track record. Yeah, I think I'm going to as well. Actually, I think the uh, tree is a problem for Nurgle because yeah. they rely on that beast to bully everyone, and they can't do it with the tree yeah. around. What are you thinking, Sean? Yeah, I think, yeah, just give it to the Wood Elves. All one. of us have gone against the grain on that one. That's interesting. Well, to be fair, he has done well this season, so it's reasonable, yeah. I guess. Uh, Norse versus the other Nurgle, Max's Nurgle. I've got to give it to the Nurgle on this one. Yeah. Fair I think enough. Max's Nurgle's more edgy than you than it appears with having the four best scores. Hmm. He's got a surprising amount of block as well, so I think that nullifies what some of the... Uh, what some of the Norse can do. Yeah, this is a difficult one to call, isn't yeah. it? Because the, that seven armor, if it holds up, is going to outnumber the the Nurgle. Uh, but I think that that beast is going to cause him some problems, to be honest. And he can't attempt any passes or anything. So yeah, and uh, the, yeah, there's no nothing special with ball handling skills with the Norse. Yeah. They've not got skills to improve on just basic three. I think it's going to yeah. be a draw. I think it'll be a brawl resulting in a draw. What do you yeah, think, Sean? Uh, yeah. No, no draw. Yep. Max has the chance to score and forgets. Yeah, no, no thriller. <laughs> okay. Uh, Batfasters, Dynamo Destroyer. Uh, well, I mean, they are an ogre team, right? Yep. This is, you've well, got well, to well observed. That, well yeah. observed. Yeah, I agree <laughs> with you there. They're probably not going to win. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I... 
have to go with the Kislev there. Yeah, I mean, if his ogres behave that and and start killing Kislev, that'll cause some problems for him. But there's, but he shouldn't be allowing the ogres to get anywhere near his key pieces. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Kislev. Jack, well, you know what they say: it ain't ogre till it's ogre. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the the Kislev are going to take it. Okay, well, that's that then. That concludes this episode. Good luck to everybody, and I'll see you all in the playoffs. I'll see you in the playoffs.